This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Seen in a previous lesson, all the various methods of copy, cut and paste that are available to you in Excel. However, there is one other fantastic great method for copying within Excel that we omitted in that particular lesson because it has its own merits and attributes. This is the fill handle. Now the fill handle can copy by replicating the contents of a cell or a pair of cells or a series of cells. If we take our sample Excel file that we have in the working folder and we select the cell Malcolm, what you will notice down to the bottom right hand side is a little black blob that when your mouse hovers, the cursor changes. You can see how it changes from a big white cross which is selecting to a little black cross but only on that bottom right hand corner. At that point, you can click and hold on and then drag either horizontally and you can see that it copies the contents of the cell over and over and over again. Or if I go back to Malcolm, I can drag vertically. You'll also notice that it's replaced the contents here of C3 and not ask me if I was sure. So you need to be a bit careful with the fill handle. Now you can copy text cells that we've just done there or numeric cells. So I could take the 45 and drag down. Quite happily copies 45, 45, 45. And again, 45 there and drag across. Now in the future lessons where we look at doing formulas and mathematics, you'll find that you'll be able to use the fill handle to copy formulas as well. Now it does have some extra special attributes. Straightforward text, straightforward numbers, quite happily copies away. If however we take January and go down to the bottom right hand corner, select the fill handle, click and hold on and drag, what you'll notice is it puts all the months in. So starting at whatever month you want to start at and dragging down or to the right, it replicates the months out of a year. So I could pick on August, grab hold of the fill handle, drag to the right. You'll see how it goes up from August to December and then starts again if you start dragging. So it has an internal pattern built in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then it goes round and round in that pattern. It will work with full months as we have there or three letter abbreviations. If I pick on this cell here, for example, and type in APR for April, accept that value, go back to the fill handle and drag down. You'll see how it then uses three letter abbreviations for the rest of the year and starts again. I can drag to the right and it goes up. I can take that April and drag upwards and it goes backwards. Notice that. And the same if I drag to the left, it goes backwards. So you can go in any of the four directions with the fill handle. What you can't do is go diagonally. You can't grab that fill handle and go diagonally. It's either horizontally or vertically, either to the right, to the left, up or down. So sort of north, south, east and west. Now the clever bits that it does there with the months of the year, it also does with the days of the week. If we scroll down a little, down to C27, and put in Tuesday as an example day and grab its fill handle. I'm sure you can guess what's going to happen here. If I drag to the right, it goes up. If I take that cell and drag upwards, it goes backwards in time effectively through its list. Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, the same to the left and the same downwards. It goes forwards. So down to the right goes forwards up or to the left goes backwards. Just like the months of the year, if we use abbreviated days of the week, so if I put Mon for Monday, take the fill handle downwards. It then uses three letter abbreviations for the days of the week. Now, if you think those lists are clever, which they are, the fill handle has many other attributes as well. Let's scroll down again and go here and let's give it two numbers. So if I give it 34 and 54, highlight the pair of them. So that's the big white cross to highlight two cells. Then take the fill handle and drag down you'll see it repeats the pattern. So the gap here was 20. The gap becomes 20, 20, 20, 20. It's not a formula. It just sees the gap and repeats the gap. And it'll do that with any pairing of numbers, even if that pairing goes backwards. So you can see how it goes down by 20. I could stick a different number in here, highlight those and go that way. So it has the same attributes of direction of travel, in that you can go up, down, left, right, not diagonal. But with pairs of numbers, it will see the gap 
and it will replicate that gap. You should be trying to fill a pattern in. If you take a single number, as we saw earlier, you'll find that it just copies it. However, there is a little pop out extra menu here at the end of your dragging. So having dragged using the fill handle, you then have a pop out option for the auto fill options. And in there, we have the options to fill a series. Now the series, if it's not defined as a pair of numbers, is always one. So if I choose fill series, you'll see it goes 174, 175, 176, etc. to as far as dragged, or I can just choose to copy the cells, or I can fill using the formatting only, in which case it will copy the formatting across all those cells, but not the contents, no series, no copying, nothing, or fill without formatting. So you can drag the values, but not change the formatting of the cells you're dropping onto. So there's quite a few extra options. If I do that with day of the week, so Monday, and drag down, you can see that it does that pattern again. In the little fill option, I can choose not to use fill series, but to copy the cells. If I wanted a lot of Mondays, I could choose to copy Monday rather than fill the series. A couple of little of extra options appear at the bottom. Fill days is what it's doing anyway, but I could choose to fill weekdays, in which case it would miss out the Saturday and the Sunday. So I put my little dot in there. You can see it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, as far as I've dragged. So the fill handle is actually quite special. And the more you use it, the more you'll like it and love to like it. Basically, you take a cell or a number of cells, bottom right hand corner, a little black cross, and you can drag to the right, you can drag upwards, you can drag to the left, or you can drag down. And depending on the contents of the cell you've taken, things will happen or they won't happen. In this case, I've just taken one number, it just copies it. But you have further options and they will differ depending on the kind of item you've dragged, whether it's text, number, a date, a day of the week, a month of the year. And you can choose to fill series in this particular case. And it then goes minus 26, minus 25, minus 24, minus 23. The best advice I can give you for the fill handle is to experiment and you'll find it's great fun. And you'll find in future lessons, you'll see that we use it over and over again to help fill cells in, add values or repeat patterns.